Kendall Jenner gets dragged for her nearly naked look during last night's coveted Vanity Fair party. I mean, I even have to admit it was a little much. You are trying way too hard. Plus, I have the details on why the Biebers, yes, I'm talking Justin and Haley, decided to skip this year's party. And they weren't the only ones. Selena Gomez also turned down the invite, and I have the details on that too. We're talking all about your fave celebs and the Oscars right now, so stay here for the latest. <laughs> How's it going guys? I'm Madison Hill. We have a lot of things to discuss, like Kendall receiving tons of hate for her Oscars look, and we need to talk about why the Beavers and Selena chose not to attend the big night. Honestly, I know you're here for the details, so let's not waste any more time and get right to it. As you all know, Hollywood's biggest night took place last night, and all around the Oscars were pretty much uh, low key. Aside from Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper's performance that had everyone freaking out, myself included, because it looked like they were more than coast stars. In the sha, sha, la, 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 la. Like I said, other than that, we got to see Amy Poehler, Tina Fey, and Maya Rudolph on stage together, and we got to see some of Hollywood's biggest names achieve their lifelong dreams. And honestly, that was about it. However, that doesn't mean a lot didn't go down after the show at the coveted Vanity Fair Oscars after party. You see, you don't have to necessarily be a nominee to get in here, but you do have to be an A-list celeb. I'd like to argue that while many people stunned, Kendall Jenner stole the carpet because the girl definitely showed up in a statement gown. If you could call it that. While Kendall often opts to show up to things showing her nipples, she aimed to show off an entirely different part of herself last night. She showed up in this barely there black sequin gown that had everyone hoping there were no fans inside the party because the girl was essentially one major wardrobe malfunction just waiting to happen. And while I do think Kendall's makeup and hair looked stunning, I mean that proactive is really doing wonders for her, the internet was not here for whatever statement she was trying to make with her gown. In fact, they totally dragged her for it. Saying things like Kendall Jenner did not look sexy even after wearing that dress. Oops. Hashtag Vanity Fair Party. And there was this person who I agree with who said face, hair, upper body, half perfect. Lower half, WTF. Along with this savage who wrote, it's safe to say that Kendall Jenner was the worst dressed at the Oscars, right? And finally, this person who went for the jugular who said, why on earth did Kendall Jenner have her vagina out at the Oscars? That whole family really are trash. It is worth noting that aside from Kendall's controversial look, there was one positive thing that happened for her. She reunited with her dad, Caitlyn Jenner, for the first time on the carpet, and honestly, I don't know when. While there's always grumblings of a rocky father-daughter relationship with these two, I've gotta say, all looked well last night. Caitlyn didn't even seem surprised by Kendall's barely there look, so I guess that's good. Now, while Kendall was causing a major scene, three very important people opted not to go to this Vanity Fair Oscars party, despite being invited. And as I mentioned, being that it is a pretty big A-list event, it's rare for people to be on the list and not show up. But that's exactly what the Beavers did. Justin and Haley skipped their opportunity to make their first red carpet debut as a married couple, and instead opted to stay in New York, aka they clearly wanted to make sure they stayed very far away. Well, one might see this as a major red flag, considering all we've been hearing lately is negative about their relationship, like the fact they still have past relationship problems they're working on, Justin has trust issues, and you know, the fact they've postponed their public wedding ceremony three times now. However, it seems as though we can go ahead and put our flags down because Justin and Haley had a perfectly reasonable explanation as to why they avoided a very public appearance. And that would be Justin's mental health. Oh, okay. All right. That makes sense. According to a report from Elle magazine, the Beeps was seen prior to the event this weekend in New York leaving a therapy appointment. We all know Justin has been seeking treatment for depression as a source previously reported to People Magazine that he's been struggling a bit lately. We know that Haley has dedicated herself to standing by Justin during this difficult time. As I previously told you guys, Haley is making sure that she accompanies Justin to his appointments and she's making sure she's involved in making medical decisions. She also has been his rock during all of this. On top of this, TMZ also previously reported that Justin will likely not attend any award show events until he releases new music and being that we're still waiting on that and likely will be for a while, it looks like that married couple red carpet debut is going to have to wait. Again, just placing more importance on that wedding ceremony that we all need at this point. Anyway, you all know I feel strongly about that, so let's move on and talk about why someone else opted to skip one of the year's biggest parties, Miss Selena Gomez. You see, last night would have been her first public appearance back since she got out of treatment herself. 
Sure, we've seen Selena on Instagram, but we've yet to see her walk a carpet or attend a major event, something that solidifies your back status. And while you might think that Sel decided not to attend last night in order to avoid a potential run-in with her ex and his new wife, that wasn't necessarily the case. It sounds like she just wasn't quite ready to face everyone just yet. In a separate report from Elle magazine, we've learned that it's likely Selena skipped the big night because she's still focusing on herself and spending time with those who matter most. As you all know, she recently attended her friend's wedding and looked absolutely flawless. The only clue we have as to what Selena decided to do instead is this photo from her nail artist that they posted. Many people are taking this as a clue that Selena has something new coming sooner than we think. We all know that previously she told Billboard that her new album is done, so maybe she could be getting ready to bless our ears soon, but let's be honest, we never really know with Selena. All we do know is that she was not up for a party last night, so she chose to stay home. All right, you guys, I'm ready to hear your thoughts on all of this Oscars after party drama. What was your reaction to Kendall Jenner's look? Do you think she deserved to get dragged or did you like it? Also, thoughts on the Bieber skipping the big night? Do you think it was the right move? And also, while you're at it, don't forget to tell me what you think about Selena Gomez staying home too. Do you think she'll be releasing something soon? Let it all out down there in the comments. For more on Selena Gomez, check out our video where we break down the many suitors she's had in her day. And for more on your fave celebs, subscribe to Holly Scoop now.